Yo, what's up? How we doing? Thanks for checking out the video. In this one, I'm going to go ahead and use my DIY fuel transfer pump. I purchased all of this off of Amazon. This is a fuel pump, so it's very affordable. And uh, these two five foot uh, lengths of fuel lines. And basically what I'm trying to do is I let this fuel sit in my boat for like four months and it's no longer good. So the boat the engine is not turning over. So I need to remove that fuel from the tank and uh, replace it with good fuel and check the fuel lines and then um, the spark plugs and then compression in the engine. But if it's a compression issue, it's a much bigger issue. Um, so first things first, let's get the fuel out of the fuel tank. This is a really simple device. Like I said, this is a 12 volt fuel pump you can these are two five foot lengths of uh, polyurethane fuel lines and uh, it came with a little plug i just cut the plug uh crimped on some connectors and i made my uh my power cables long i didn't want any chance of sparks right dealing with fuel and fumes that sort of thing i just you know i don't, I don't think it's going to be an issue but i'm just trying to play it safe um, so I want to keep the battery far away from any fumes that come out of the tank. Uh, these are the fuel tanks. I'm going to put the fuel back into. Uh, the battery I'm using is a Duracell Ultra Deep Cycle. This is the uh, C1214F2. This is a 12 volt, 14 amp hour battery. Um, I typically use this battery for uh, my Garmin when I'm kayaking. So, uh, yeah, let's get this show on the road. First thing I'm going to try, I don't know if there's going to be like a filter or anything. I don't think there is in the uh, in the, the fuel line here where the fuel goes in. So I'm going to try and, even though this is curved, I'm going to try and feed this in. It's five foot, so there's plenty of length to go through that big hose right there and into the gas tank. Um, so I'm going to try that first. If I can't get it all the way through, then I'm going to have to remove one of these hatches and go in from the top. And of course, I'm going to have to clean off the top of the gas tank because I don't want any of that stuff getting in the fuel system. So here we go. So I can already tell you that going through the gas port here is going to be an issue because uh, my fuel line wants to curl. So even if I get it through the pipe and it comes out into the gas tank, it's just going to curl up at the top of the tank. So um, I need to get some zip ties and a stick. I can zip tie this to and make it straight. And then I'm going to have to go in through the top of the tank. All right, so I've taken the top hatch off the gas tank. And uh, I'm going to start pumping the gas into uh, this gas can and uh, I should have two gas cans by the time I'm all done and the tanks empty The uh, fuel pump is doing a great job of pumping that gas out of the gas tank and uh, Into the gas can So after a few minutes when this one fills up We'll swap the tank or the, swap the can with another one So I made the power connectors long so uh, I can keep the battery away from the gas fumes I was gonna initially use alligator clips, but uh, those being the exact same size, they tend to touch and create sparks. And uh, I'm trying to avoid any scenario <laughs> with sparks while dealing with this fuel. All right, that worked. I've got a full tank of bad gas out of the gas tank. Thanks to this awesome little contraption, um, basically just two polyurethane fuel lines and a uh, 12 volt fuel pump. And I had to get a little piece of metal, like a metal stick to uh, make the pickup straight because it wants to curl up. But uh, yeah, that was easy, fast, and a great alternative to siphoning gas out of a gas tank. Nobody wants to do that. It's not healthy and it's not pleasant. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope it's been informative. Y'all take care.